Hello ladies, my name is Lucas Tyndale, part of the What Men Want Tour live coming to Atlanta, Georgia, December 13th to 14th. Today I want to tell you something that's big that men want. This is something that's big ladies, this one is going to blow your mind. This is something you know, but I'm going to bring a new perspective to it. Something men want is a woman that is sexual. Is that a surprise to you? No, it's not a surprise to you. But let me break down something else that happens for a lot of men that, that throws them off when it comes to having a committed relationship. Men want a woman that's sexual, that's sexy, that's into having sex, bottom line, okay? And what happens to a lot of single guys is they get with a girl who seems to be interested in sex, right? Even if they're a Christian couple, they try not to have sex, but she's coming on to him and he's coming on to her and they battling and they tempted and they keep getting at each other and it's hot and heavy every time they get together. And then when they get married, that whole situation is flipped upside down, turned around, and it's like somebody flipped a switch off. Men want a woman that's sexy and sexual forever. They want to know that they're getting with a woman that's not sexually catfishing them. That's right, ladies. There are some ladies that are sexual catfishes. Y'all know what catfish is. Y'all seen the show Catfish, right? There's people who are online pretending to be something they're not, pretending to be someone they're not in order to catch a man or catch a woman, right? They're pretending they're putting up fake profiles and fake pictures on social media, and they're acting like somebody they're not. They're getting into all these long-term, long-distance relationships with people and talking to them for days, months, weeks, years and years and years at times, and then come to find out the person's not even who they said they were. Well, guess what? That's happening in somebody's relationship. Somebody, when they were single, had a woman, some man, when he was single, had a woman that was all about it. She was down for whatever. She wanted to do anything and everything that he wanted to do. She wanted to do it whenever and however he wanted to do it. She was down. And he said, I'm going to marry that woman. Then she got my heart, right? She had something. She had his heart, right? He was like, I'm going to marry her. She's going to be my wife, and I'm going to wife her, and she's the one. I'm leaving all these other girls behind because there's nothing out there that they can offer me that she's not already given me, right? She, well, a woman at, at that time during the dating phase, a lot of times, she's willing to give him things she didn't want to give him. She's willing to do things and tricks and flips and positions and stuff that she don't even like. Her back hurt, her neck hurt, she don't even care because she's trying to catch her a man. She's catfishing. She's trying to catch her a man. She's trying to get her somebody. So she's willing to give up what she got to give up to get what she wants. And she knows that men like sex. So she's turning it on. She's dressing sexy. She's keeping her body right, her body tight. She, she's dressing just right all the time, day and night. She's doing it, right? So she's always trying to make sure that the man is into her and she's into him. And what do you want? What do you need, babe? How can I take care of you? And then they get married and the switch turns off. Ladies, you can't sexually catfish a man. A man wants a woman who's going to be who she's going to be from day one till forever. And I know women, you want the same thing. You want a man to be consistent. We all want consistency. So to all those women who've been sexually catfishing men, stop it. If you're not into sex and all the flips and tricks and Olympics, stop doing that junk. Stop pretending. And outside of that, this is why God wanted us to save this for marriage because he wanted it to be something special that was exciting and new and interesting. And you're still getting to know each other. And you're still turned on by each other. And you're still excited. Another problem is we're having things out of order. When you have sex before marriage, which I know so many people do, and I've been there myself, I'm not here to judge anybody, but when you have it out of order, God is not in that, and then you mess around, and, 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 this, and someone once said, I think it was Pastor Vernon from the Word Church said, the same devil that keeps you going when you're not married is the same devil that stops you from going when you are married. He's out to make a mockery of God's powerful union and the powerful union that comes from a sexual intercourse, from making love, from connecting two people coming together as one. That's what God wants to see. So, and he said the marriage bed is undefiled, which means have your fun, do your flips, do your tricks, spit on the ceiling fan if you want to, have fun in the bedroom, keep it hot, keep it fresh, okay? That is perfectly biblical, ladies and gentlemen. It is perfectly biblical. But the biggest problem people have and that men have, I'm telling you, there are so many men who are afraid of marriage because they think marriage is the end of their sex life. Ladies, you got to turn it around. you got to fix it. you got to pray about it. you got to talk to some spiritual women who can tell you that that is not of God. God wants you to enjoy marriage. He wants you to enjoy sex in marriage. And that, ladies, is what men want. I hope you guys check us out on our tour. Check us out. Join Shamika Dean's Ultimate Wife Movie Club. So that you can get in on these online sessions when we do them live online. And then we want you to come out with us. We're going to hit some more cities, but our first city 
is Atlanta, Georgia on December 13th and 14th. That's a Friday and a Saturday. We hope to see you there. Again, my name is Lucas Tindell. Like this, share this, share this post, comment. Let us know what you think. We're excited to be with you guys really soon. I hope this lesson helps somebody. Stop being a sexual catfish. Be a sexual being. And in marriage, promise your husband that you're going to satisfy his every need. Ladies, gentlemen, everybody, have a great day.